Ever since Maurizio Pochettino arrived, Tottenham have been much more of a force. While trophies haven't been forthcoming, they're one of the most exciting teams around and boast some real world-class talent. But while we know all about the likes of Harry Kane and Christian Eriksen, what about those players you didn't know Tottenham once had? Here are 11 players you didn't know were at Tottenham. Number 1 Fraser Campbell Remember when Fraser Campbell was going to be the next English striker to break out of Manchester United's academy? Nah, me neither. But when the Red Devils signed Dimitar Berbatov from Spurs, they sent Fraser Campbell the opposite way to sweeten the deal. The forward was on the back of scoring 15 championship goals for Hull and was expecting to have a role at Old Trafford, but instead he went to Spurs, where the goals didn't flow. He found the net three times in 22 appearances for the club, joining Sunderland when the loan deal ended. Number 2 Reese Oxford we all recall Reese Oxford's incredible West Ham debut at the age of 16, but sadly that's been as good as it got for the youngster. Oxford is now 19 years old and has yet to kick on at the London Stadium, but the Hammers were not actually his first club. Back when he was a baby, or a teenager rather, Reese Oxford was a Tottenham player, despite actually being an Arsenal fan. He was with the Spurs youth setup until 2011, going on to join West Ham's under 13 side. Would Oxford be doing better if he was at Tottenham? Let us know what you think in the comments. Number 3 Helder Postiga So many players from Jose Mourinho's incredible Porto side went on to do great things, then there's Helder Postiga. On the back of winning the UEFA Cup under the special one and scoring 18 goals that season as well as earning his first international cap, Postiga headed to England. He cost Spurs just over 6 million quid, signing a 5 year deal. But after just one Premier League goal, Postiga headed back to Porto after a year and it's safe to say he never quite got the magic touch back. Number 4 Alan Pardew Speaking of the magic touch, that brings us to the slick hips of Alan Pardew. The Silver Fox isn't best known for his playing career, not that his management career is anything special either, but while he made more than 100 appearances for both Palace and Charlton, the biggest club he ever played for was Tottenham. He joined in 1995 on loan, making 4 appearances for them in the Intertoto Cup, one of which still sits in the history books. A Spurs team including Pardew lost 8-0 to Cologne, which is still the biggest ever defeat. While he's managed three of his former clubs, I don't think he'll ever be in the White Hart Lane hot seat. Number 5 Kevin Prince Boateng Brother of German centre-half Jerome, you probably do recall KPB playing for Spurs, although his spell at Portsmouth is much more well known, mainly because he missed that penalty in the 2010 FA Cup Final. But it was 2007 when he became a Spurs player, costing £5.4 million from Hertha Berlin. Despite being a talented youngster, he would make just 24 appearances for Spurs, going on loan to Dortmund before being sold to Pompey. While he had a lot of skill, I mean he still does, he's not dead, he goes into the adult rap box of footballers. Number 6 Chris Gunter While his best mate might be a gunner in Aaron Ramsey, Chris Gunter used to be a Tottenham player once upon a time. Now which two people knew that? Well his biggest fans in China of course. Hey Chris Gunter, sha la 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 la. The Welsh defender was a big player for the Red Dragons at Euro 2016, along with current Spurs player Ben Davies. Had things been different, Pochettino could have had both of them. Chris Gunter joined Tottenham in January 2008, costing just 2 million quid from Cardiff. Just a teenager at the time, Gunter didn't become a Spurs regular, going out on loan to Forest and eventually sealing a permanent move. Fortunately for Tottenham, they had more luck with another Welsh teenager. Number 7 Quinton Fortune It's another former Manchester United player and if you look at Quinton Fortune's career, he's a lucky lad. The South African only made more than 10 league appearances for one club, the Red Devils, yet he has a Premier League winner's medal to his name and Steven Gerrard doesn't. But Fortune's first club on English shores was Tottenham. The utility man left South Africa at the age of 14 and joined Spurs. However, work permit issues meant he never reached the first team, instead going to Spain with Atletico Madrid. Did Spurs miss out? Not really, no. Number 8 Charlie Daniels He scored one of the goals of the season last year against Manchester City, but where did he learn it all? Tottenham Hotspur. Charlie Daniels has been a constant figure during Bournemouth's incredible rise through the divisions, so much so you'd think he's been there all his life. But he's also made more than 100 appearances for Leighton Orient, and before that he was a Spurs lad. Daniels got himself a pro contract with the club in 2005, but he would never actually don the white shirt, instead going out on loan to Chesterfield, Leighton Orient and Gillingham. Along with Adam Smith, another former Spurs player, the pair have proven that they can hang in the Premier League despite rejection from Tottenham. Number 9 Wayne Routledge Despite having the face of a child, Wayne Routledge is actually 33 years old. 
and while he's probably best known for his lengthy spells with Swansea and Crystal Palace, he was also a Tottenham winger once upon a time. However, this was back in the days when the lad wasn't capable of scoring a Premier League goal. Rowlett joined Spurs from Palace in 2005 for just over a million quid and Tottenham would be glad they didn't invest too much money into him. Rowlett played five Premier League games before joining Aston Villa, where yet again he struggled, and it would take until 2012 before Rowlett would score a Premier League goal. Number 10, Gary Hooper. One of the things Tottenham are missing is an adequate backup for Harry Kane, but did they let one potentially slip through their fingers? In short, no, but they could have had Gary Hooper, who joined the Spurs youth side in 1995 at the age of seven. He spent seven years there in fact, but was released in 2002, which is the introduction that was climbed from Sunday League football all the way to the Football League, as well as Celtic, where he scored a ton of goals and won four trophies. While he wasn't wanted by Tottenham, Hooper's journey is still impressive. And finally, number 11, Mark Wright. If you cast your memories back to 2016, Mark Wright wore the three Lions shirt and represented England at Soccer Aid. The Towie sensation performed brilliantly at Old Trafford, with fans pondering whether he'd be able to do it at a professional level, rather than just for charity. Well, had things gone a little differently, Wright could actually have been a professional footballer. His youth career is fairly decent, playing for West Ham, Arsenal and finally Tottenham. He arrived there in 2001, spending four years with Spurs before starting his pro career at South End. By then though, the bright lights of club promoting had caught his eye, and he'd eventually reached the lofty heights of ITV2 and fallen in the loving arms of Michelle Keegan. So really, it all worked out for the best. So those are 11 players you didn't know were at Tottenham. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.